Hey, you're here. Hello, William, the saxophonist. Just now, I want to make a channel about yoga. Welcome in my new yoga channel. Namaste. Coronation Jump uh, Screwy J. Hawkins and a good saxophone playing in that tune. We'll talk about that. And uh, I had a quick note of what I wanted to say for this first month. So, congratulations! First month of saxophone learning or saxophone journey. Everything is about the journey. Yes, I know we, we share that that pleasure so just a quick overview we start to 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 blow in the saxophone we start to learn the key and uh, to understand the instrument so uh, let's go second month we gonna continue that and a new key and uh, begin to play music in fact in fact that's our first motivation and uh, so you understand we have two main octaves between the two C, low C, medium C with the octave key, high C. Two octaves. Then we have three low notes and a few high notes. It's too early for the high note. We have to stabilize our sound and, and so we will focus today on the lowest note. And there's something I didn't explain to you just for now. For the first thing, there was the mouthpiece and the reed and so much thing. So maybe your sound is too hard for now. Uh, it's too not very not very easy. But your muscles have to be uh, trained. And in fact, I didn't explain the main the main thing. I will stop the music. The main thing is about um, uh, how we do to, to blow in the saxophone and understand physiology. You know, I, I, I really love physiology and, and understand our body. Um, when you blow, it's a passive action. Uh, in fact, your rib will extend to get some air by contracting your muscles okay we contract our muscles here of the rib but also the main respiratory muscles that is the diaphragm and the diaphragm is just here between the chest and the belly so that muscle is the main main muscle for the respiration and what does it do? And I choose a picture. So, you see when when the air comes inside, you, you will contract your muscles here and your diaphragm will go down. It does contract and go down into the belly so that we, we we have more air in our lung and uh, less space in the belly okay and also when you have to blow you have a, a lot of resistance in your saxophone but your muscles can't help no muscles can help to blow in your respiratory muscles in fact but we we have another solution to blow more efficiently in the saxophone and that's why i'm on a yoga mat today uh, you have to use your abdominal respiration and the only way to understand that and to uh, to improve your your uh, your abdominal respiration is to 
be uh, on the floor. So, today's lessons begin like that. Okay? Just lay down and have your hand on your belly. And when you blow, here it's uh, empty. And then let the air come in your lung and you will have to not not only your lung will expand but your abdomen will expand furthermore you see it's everything is about your belly not here here it's just a little a little more everything is down okay why because these muscles if 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 the muscles of the abdomen will expand if you relax them when the air comes into your lung you can contract them when you blow but if you, you don't let them expand you can contract them they are yet contracted when you have to blow so relax your belly and for now I have to contract everything but it's just everything around not only the front also here okay it's not so beautiful to have a big belly and you know saxophonist have at the end of their career great saxophonists often have distended belly because of that way of respiration but uh, in fact abdominal muscles are the main expiratory muscles for the saxophonist so for now we have to create that colon of air um, that goes directly from the belly okay so um to improve that we will do something uh, different we start only with the mouthpiece and the neck and we only blow in the mouthpiece okay it will look crazy <laughs> So let's go only the mouthpiece and that kind of respiration. You know? So I start with that with that sound just to show you that maybe you, you won't be able to make the, the the good sound at the beginning but is that <coughs> try to have something really stable and uh, also you can try to have different pitch looks very crazy but that demand uh, a, a good a good uh, air colon and, and good respiration good expiration and if you control that the air that comes in the saxophone will be less clear and uh, it will be less easy to to um, to produce the lowest note so that's the fact the new thing for today we will learn the lowest note under the C under the low C so we have the medium C and the low C C C so we go down the low C and 
after that here we will use that that key on your uh, on your left hand so the first one is is uh, that one on the on the left upper left and we have we you will close one more key and have the b so i play first of all the c and after i add the c <laughs> And after we will close every key on the saxophone, we keep the C here and we add that lowest key. And you see that we close, we close every note. So we have the lowest B, B flat. Okay. So I play first C, then B flat. <laughs> If you are not warm, I'm not, and yeah, maybe your rate is a little too hard. So that's the thing we have to talk about. The read is something really, really important for your sound. And at the beginning, if it's too hard, every note are too hard to produce. So just have a look. It's not very expensive. Maybe you need uh another read less hard and uh often two two and a half that kind of strength is good that dependent of your mouthpiece but uh okay we saw that that's not but uh, we still have one key uh, on our left hand here we saw the B, B flat, and here it, that thing opens a key. In fact, is to make C sharp. So I close the C and I add that. So I will go from C to C sharp. <laughs> that we have uh, a two octave and three more notes I ask you to sing your note you have to play it and sing it play it and sing it you will understand why very quickly during this second month Oop. okay I show you The yoga position is not very <laughs> good. Ba, C, D. and you will slowly learn every note every key but also learn the the um, the, the the notes inside you and you will be able to to sing it okay so congratulations for this first month and uh, to close this this lesson let's play let's begin to play I hope you liked the 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 song just before coronation jump. So for that first week, uh, we will learn that song, and so you have the link below. Um, just uh, hear the song and sing 
what the saxophone play okay you sing it after you sing when you play the note you understand where where i'm going okay so one more Okay, so you will let the song go and and dance with and sing what the saxophone is is singing and it goes like that. Tweet up, tweet up, tweet 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 up, tweet up, tweet 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 up, tweet up, tweet 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 up, tweet up, tweet up, tweet up, tweet up. Okay, so learn the exact song. The first sentence is that. After there is some little variation and there is a bridge also, and uh, we just begin. I will help you with the, the note. So search. Uh, where is the note? Ti da do ti da ti. Yeah. Maybe try a note. I try the high. High, uh, uh, high G. Octave key and, and G. Three finger. Ti da di da. No, it's not that. It's upper under. Ti da. It's upper. So I will go down. Maybe the E. I close to. Da, di da, di da, da. It's upper and it's upper. I will close one more. D. Yes. Di da, di da. Yes. Di da, di da. D. Then the sentence goes under. Di da do. Uh, I try D, medium C. Ah, uh, no. D, da, do. D, da, D, do. Maybe it's a B. First finger. D, B. T, da, bo, T, do. Ah, it's good. T, da, do. Maybe D, A. Ah, yeah, it's good. So we have the first sentence T, D, B, A. Okay. Okay. So that's the first note. I let you learn the song. You will be able to sing it and after try the first sentence D B A but very slowly very slowly and after you can search the other note very slowly too we have time it's just about training our ear and uh, our skill and um, so I hope you like this lesson and um, uh, maybe I will try uh, uh, direct streaming next time. W what about that? Next Wednesday, we can find uh, one one hour and and say, okay, meet you at maybe um, at five p.m. I don't know. I will try. So I will text you about that, and um, I'm ready for for. Uh, a direct streaming next time and uh, um, if you like this listen please subscribe and like bye